Here's this week's Power Profile. You know, it comes as no surprise to me that the popularity of outboard powered center console boats continues to rise. After all, by design, they're convenient to ride in, to walk around, to fish from, and to maintain. Take, for example, this smart looking model from Edgewater Boats. It's known as the 188cc, a rugged and handsome deep V sport machine that's appropriately powered and sized for lakes and cottage country, yet built strong enough to endure offshore conditions. With its deep royal blue gel coated sides, bright white hull and matching interior, the Edgewater 188 looks crisp and distinctive. It also looks and feels larger than its 18 foot 8 inch length and 7 foot 9 inch beam. As outstanding as it looks externally, this is one full featured outfit. Like all Edgewaters, the 188cc is unsinkable, made of closed cell foam flotation. And to make it even safer yet, the cockpit is deep, and it comes with securely fastened oversized handrails. This is a one-piece boat, built to handle stress. Actually, all of the hardware is first rate, from cleats, to built-in rod holders, to rocket launchers on the resilient canvas T-top, much thought has gone into placement. Craftsmanship is not just another word with Edgewater. It describes their company philosophy and their customers' expectations. Evidence of care is visible through the cockpit where joints are tight, lids fit properly, and compartments are well finished inside and out. The console itself is sound, very well engineered, and contains all of the appropriate gauges, switches, and controls for worry-free time on the water. The operator's seat is clean, simple, and effective. You can lean against it for ergonomic relief while standing, or sit high and dry with excellent visibility. With 66 square feet of cockpit space, there's plenty of room for a console storage box, seat storage locker, console cooler seat, and two transom quarter jump seats with durably upholstered cushions. Lest we not forget these thick combing pads that anglers will appreciate when leaning over to land their big catch. 24 inches of freeboard allows for large and convenient rod racks to be installed. Mercury's 150 horsepower, four-stroke Verado supercharged outboard seems ideally suited to the Edgewater 188cc. Now, given that the boat weighs around 2,050 pounds, if the motor is propped right, it should accelerate well and reach almost 50 miles an hour. Here is a hull that planes quickly. The Edgewater pops out of the water in 2.9 seconds and immediately responds to trim without prop ventilation during rapid acceleration. Being a Verado, power is smooth and consistent and lets the bottom lift fast. Given that the boat has a variable dead rise V haul and a high entry forward, the ride is smooth and dry. And dry is really good, especially when the wind whips up in less than ideal conditions. The 188 has large reverse chines that deflects water underneath the boat. In theory, that should improve stability as well as increase lift on the bottom of the boat, and that improves overall efficiency. Driving in a straight line, the 188cc tracks straight and responds predictably to steering commands. When trimmed high and turning, the hull sweeps through the water very smoothly without a distinctive lean. If you want to turn fast and tight, trim the engine completely under, let the hull settle, and the bow will pull you around with precision. For its size and weight of 2,050 pounds, the 188 loves rough water. It takes a fair wave to launch the hull and feels very solid when cutting through chop. I truly enjoy driving center consoles and this one performs very well. It can move from 20 to 40 miles an hour in 6 seconds and from 30 to 45 miles an hour in just 9. With a top speed of 50.5 miles an hour at 6200 RPM, the 188 is both quick and convenient. You gotta love it. Well, I'm happy to report this boat's performance ranks just as high as its versatility. I've tested a lot of Edgewaters in the past, both larger and smaller ones, and I can tell you this boat will be great for towing and for cottagers with multiple users. It's comfortable to drive, it runs smoothly, and there's enough power on the transom to reach a top speed of 50.5 miles an hour and pop up on plane in under three seconds. Believe me when I say the 188cc makes an all-around great family boat, even though some fishermen I know may not admit it. We'll see you next time.